What's happening, fellas? Check out this classic Suzuki GS550E. This is a super rare, full Yoshimura engine build on this. It's a 610cc big board with the four into one Yoshi exhaust, carburetors, and intake. Now, there is a full video describing everything that was done on this bike. We're gonna tack on to the end because it has not been ridden since we did the last video. Uh, the bike has been sitting in here in the museum for a couple of years, and uh, we took it out of storage, put a new battery in it, new spark plugs, New oil filter, three quarts of oil, new fuel joints on the carb, took the carbs off. Let's see what they did here. They uh, installed the new battery, checked the lights, the horn, um, started the bike, carbs were leaking from the T-fitting, they assembled the carbs and rebuilt the carbs, reassembled them, installed the carbs and synchronized them. Basically that's about it. They didn't have to do that much to it, change the oil and filter, new spark plugs, clean the carbs, put new fuel in it, just been sitting for a couple years. Fired right up and we gave it the test ride. Um, Junior, is anything you'd like to add about this classic Yoshi? Yeah, it's one of four GS 550s that we sold to a repeat customer of the museum. He left them on display, something changed, and he asked us to offer these for sale. So just uh, pulled from museum storage, we got it running. Uh, this is how you see this week. The photos are fresh as of this week. It is just as we shot it in 2016 or 2017. So a badass looking bike, the, the, this color scheme, the black with the uh, red and orange stripes, just cool looking with the uh, quarter fairing. Definitely Sweet. really cool classic, the drilled rotors, uh, cafe bars, air has the air uh, fill on the forks for the air forks. It's got a nice set of S&W shocks, chain of sprockets, tires, seat, everything's super nice. Original factory paint is beautiful on the bike. Uh, we got one little scuff on the side panel right here, but uh, a rear, nice set of rear sets on it too. Again, we're gonna tack the video, the full video on. So watch that, the original video we did on it, uh, along with the update we just gave you. Got the Lockhart Royal Cooler on there. Kick-ass bike, give us a call if you have any questions. 860-454-7024. Guys, uh, we're selling the bike as is. It is currently smoking, which could be a valve seal or a valve guide, or it could be piston rings, e either way. Uh, the bike does run and, and does have good power and um, runs and starts and rides, but it is smoking a little bit. Could be an easy fix. We're selling it as is. What you see is what you get. Thanks for watching and God bless. And this is the Velvet Hammer. This disguised as a mild-mannered GS550 inside this frame is a high-performance Yoshimura 610cc big bore engine. This was built by a gentleman obsessed with GS550s who spent no, spared no expense on the build of this bike. Completely dismantled the motor right down to the transmission, installed the 610cc Yoshi high compression big bore pistons, had the head sent out to Yoshimura, flow benched and ported. Uh, the carburetors are opened up with the full uh, Yoshi jetting setup along with the uh, velocity stacks. This is a Yo very rare Yoshimura 4 into 1 exhaust, special ignition. Um, the wheels were laced to lightweight aluminum rims that are off of a Suzuki GS1000. Uh, the original body works in fantastic condition. Beautiful fairing on it, quarter, quarter bars. Um, we've had some real nice 550s come through the shop here. The three nicest ones are owned by Jack Moser, a collector that uh, is a benefactor of the museum who uh, bought all three and, and uh, left two of them here on display. This would make a great addition to his collection, so if it's gone before it's listed on eBay, you'll know why. Um, I'm gonna highly recommend that Jack buy this bike. Uh, it's got the oil, uh, aftermarket oil cooler on there. It has a steering brace uh, damper on there. It has high quality S&W shocks, heavy duty fork springs, six speed transmission, and it's a GS550 on steroids. This thing's off the hook. Not flapping of the gums, it's gonna rain out soon, so I wanna take this for a quick rip before it starts raining and show you what she's got. Go, go. Absolutely the fastest 550 I've ever ridden. And keep in mind, I work at New England Cycle Sales uh, back in the 80s, so I've ridden a lot of these bikes. Nothing like this, though. This is what a factory racer from Yoshi would have been riding back in the day.
start drizzling out. Uh, so let me go over the specs again. Again, the uh, the bike was completely stripped right down to the frame. All extraneous gussets and parts were removed. The frame and swing arm were painted. The front fork tubes, the lowers were buffed. The front disc was drilled to improve coolness, uh, cooling, and braking and to remove weight. Ferrodo racing disc pads increased the braking under hard use, and light alloy rims from the 78 GS1000 were laced to stock hubs. Michelin D rated low prof profile seat 425-85 rear and 315-19 front were balanced for high speed smoothness. Suspension was improved by adding a set of 1522 Goki air caps to the front forks and SS1 STW street stroker shocks with DT85 145 pound spring, their dual, dual spring uh, shocks. The air caps should be running about 10 pounds. A ratio supply steering dampener controls front end wobble and GSM low bars were fitted with Magura dog lev levers and soft grab on grips and a Tracy fairing was installed. Um, has it, the uh, um, custom mirrors. The rear sets are from, from Futura. It's a $450 set of rear sets that were installed on the bike, uh, both on the shifter and uh, brake side. Um, that's about it for the running gear. The original paint's in beautiful condition. Uh, again, this is a, a 40 year old, 41 year old motorcycle, okay? And uh, it's a classic, and it's been completely uh, mod, resto mod, modified, and, and gone through. The uh, engine was completely disassembled by the previous owner uh, and inspected for wear. The bottom end and transmission were found to be in good shape. The stop clutch was replaced with a Barnett SPZ copper plates, TMZ friction plates, and MTZ springs. The clutch was needed to handle the extra power of the Yoshimura engine. The cylinder head was sent to Yoshimura for porting or to allow a better flow of gas into and out of the cylinders. And the stock air box was replaced by CIR, CIR cycle velocity stacks with replaceable foam filters. The engine, as I said earlier, was bored to 610 cc's and reassembled with 10.1 compression, compression pistons. Copper head gaskets and heavy duty SV111 stage 1 cams were used to allow more top end breathing and therefore horsepower while still giving acceptable mid range and normal street riding. A Yoshimura Black SV992 exhaust system gives excellent corner clearance and rich tone and rounds out the full Yoshi package from the intake to the carbs to the heads to the pistons to the exhaust. It's a full Yoshimura race engine. A Martec 440 electronic ignition and a Martec 880 capacitor discharge amplifier provides a hot, accurate spark to the high RPMs this engine can turn. To keep all of this cool, the Lockhart SV800 oil cooler was installed. The engine is safe up to 10,000 RPMs as long as the jetting is correct. So uh, when we got the bike, the previous owner had it sitting for a while, so we put a brand new battery in it, brand new spark plugs, rebuilt the Petcock with a full Petcock rebuild kit, drained out the tank, cleaned the tank, um, all new Petcock components and a brand new inline fuel filter and uh, a brand new set of EBC FA38 front brake pads. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, the bike is really a unique piece. Uh, ask yourself, when have you ever, not, let alone in 1977, 78, 79, when this was the hottest 550 on the market, even back then, the only place you'd see a bike like this would be on the national race circuit. Because the average consumer is not going to, you dump enough money into this bike, you could have bought a 750 uh, for what you invested into the, the mods. And if you bought a bike like this to our restoration shop, said, Mr. Kaplan, remove the engine, bring it down to the frame, remove, remove, remove any extra components that don't belong on the bike, and hot rod it, lace new wheels to the, to the hubs, modify the brakes, put the fairing on it, um, and build the motor, you're looking at a, realistically, somewhere in, in a six to $8,000 service ticket here, you know, between the wheels, tires, chains and sprockets, brakes, uh, the exhaust alone, if you can even find a Yoshi exhaust, exhaust on it today, it's an $800 exhaust, the oil cool is $300, and the head work to you, from Yoshi is extremely expensive, so um, this bike is really an anomaly, you're just not going to find another hot rod GS550 like this anywhere. Um, it's, a, it's a very rare piece, it's a 77, making this bike 41 years old, it is an antique, and most of them were just running to the ground. So finding one that was owned by a totally obsessed GS550 aficionado who knew that I had to do all these things and, and could pull together the time and money required to do a frame off customization of a bike like this is uh, just ridiculous. So um, hopefully it goes to a good home, someone that appreciates it. I believe it's a museum piece, it's a piece of artwork that should be on display in the museum, which is where it's going right now. Right after I finish this video, I'm rolling it in the museum. And we have a cafe racer show August 25th. 
that's coming up. I'm putting this bike in the show for the 70s cafe racers, and I just love it. So, uh, you know, um, it has a, the, the way, the way it, it, it runs with the velocity stacks, you just can't cram on the throttle on this thing. You want a fuel injected or an air box bike, you got to roll on the throttle because so much air goes in. But once you get going on the highway, are you doing, you know, 75, 85 miles an hour, and you click from fifth into sixth gear, and it starts uh, catching up to itself. Man, this thing's just something else. And the six gears in the overdrive on this for highway or high speed uh, racing application. The fairing looks like it, it's in, looks like it just came out of the box, brand new. Check out the glass on the fairing, Kenny. This is like like it's, it's basically brand new condition. Like it just came out of the box. And not a scratch anywhere on it or anywhere on the fairing. Um, the grips are uh, Motion Pro, brand new Motion Pro grips. Again, it's got the Maguro lever on here. Um, the brakes are on point. Uh, this is 77, so they had drum brakes back then. The chain and sprocket are new. Uh, the battery is brand new. Um, just a fantastic bike. Then uh, you'd like to add to it, Kevin? Yeah, we can get the bike shipped very affordably. Figure 500 or less East Coast, 600 or less West Coast. Contact me for a quote. Ask for Ken Jr. at 860 454 7024 or leave a message if I'm not available. I'm going back to the exam, we're put her on display. So, uh, She'll be rolled out in detail for the August 25th Cafe Show. So next time she'll be out. So good luck bidding and don't miss the show. God bless America.